Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 4th, we are going to have Mars, the God of War, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, move out of the Gemini energy that he's been in, helping us to really plan and strategize a course of action towards a new passion, new goal, new vision, new dream. We didn't really accomplish that much in the physical realm because it was about planning and strategizing. It was about building and cultivating this fire, the spark, the flame for something new to make a good adjustment to make a major change. Now we drop that energy down into the heart space. Cancer energy being a cardinal water sign. We are initiating something new where emotions, intuition is definitely guiding us. Heads up though, if you haven't listened to the Zodiac forecast for this particular month, you're going to want to do so. Your sun, your moon, your rising. And if you don't have your Virgo season e-guide available, you're going to want to download that. you got to capture what's going on right now with this particular transit because heads up, we will eventually move into Leo energy, but then Mars is going to be going retrograde, creeping back into the Leo energy, creeping back into the Cancer energy, and we will be revisiting some topics and themes that we're currently focused on at the beginning of 2025. So of course, Mars is ruling over our physical energy. Our physical energy is going to be up and down again, choppy like the waves and then calm like the waves in cancer energy rules over our actions. Well, our actions, unless the mood strikes us and we're in the right kind of intuitive zone, if you will, we're probably not making any moves and the moves that we are going to be making definitely going to help us build a stronger foundation, secure more emotional disposition and anything that is going to help our long-term goals. We're likely going to make a move upon it. However, we're in defense mode. We are willing to fight, defend, protect whatever it is that we value, whatever it is that we care about. Yes, the cancer energy is very anchored to the home, to the family dynamic, but it's also the boundaries that we either a just created and need to now enforce or B well, non-existent, and therefore we have to build. So there is a lot of energy really pushing us to kind of get into the heart space, to allow our higher self or intuition to lead. We could definitely kind of feel angered at times, again, coming just as fast as it's going with this water energy. But of course, anger allows us to realize where it is that we're frustrated, where it is that we're feeling held back, where we're anxious to kind of get started, if you will. So our goals, our plans are definitely going to change. Um, again, we just had all of these other transits pop off. Again, Uranus retrograde, Pluto retrograde, and Capricorn energy. We're still very much in the new moon Virgo energy window. And Mars, now moving into this Cancer energy, we now have to acclimate to adjust to this particular energy. And our mood is definitely going to be fluctuating. So... We're not overly aggressive unless we are backed into a corner and unless we have to fight, defend, protect ourselves. But right now we're just trying to use our intuition to kind of guide us using the plan, the strategy that we just formulated while in Gemini energy. Now we want to bring emotion into it. We want to bring intuition into it. And again, whatever we can do to take action and make moves to bring a little bit more peace and harmony, comfort, safety, security to our lives in the present moment and for the long term, we're definitely going to do so. So this is very much like mama bear energy. Again, you know, you don't want to mess with the cubs. You don't want to mess with what it is that we've already built, already created. But at the same time, we may not see as much progress, as much, let's call it long term alignment as we were hoping for. And a lot of that is because we're about to be thrown into eclipse season. So again, if you haven't listened to the September energy forecast, I'm definitely going to recommend you do so. So please pay attention to what's going on in your current realm to where it is that you're is a little bit more of a mood and attitude to kind of preserve what it is 
again, that took you so long to heal, to build, to stabilize, especially where your emotions, your values, and your loved ones are concerned. <laughs>